Hey guys, how you doing? I'm not sure how long I got on the battery here, but uh, just getting some shavings from this fat wood. Just want to show you how easy this will ignite if. And I don't even have a lot here. Not looking to make a fire, but um. It's awful dark in here. I don't know if that's uh, supposed to be, but that's fat wood. That's real good Kentucky fat wood. No, it's not Kentucky. I found it out there. It's uh, it's basically pine resins from a pine tree or stump that the pine just congregates there. But it's excellent for a fire starter, and it'll prolong your fire if you're trying to get one started. I've started these in... In the rain, that's my son Austin. He's been with me on many times. <clears throat> that's a ferrocium rod. I'm going to start this with a spark. And should have no problem. And this was wet. So, let's just see what we got. Hopefully, uh, yeah, should light. Boom, that quick. And, uh, of course, that's just going to light. Now, what that's going to do is... Uh, now you get a tender bundle, put it on there, that's going to burn for a while. That's a lot of black smoke, which is not that good if we're in the house. So Paul's living room bushcraft isn't that good. But that's exactly what you want as far as, you know, your fire. That's uh, going to prolong it. That's going to give you time to get your tender bundle or any sticks you need and get that fire going. And that's fat wood. And I always have it in my pack. You should always carry that with you. That's a lifesaver, even when wet. And I've lit them in the snow, even when it was rain and sleet. And I used to bring Austin out and do it. Austin remembers. But, uh, yeah, that's, uh, I always have it in my pack. Hey, baby. Yep, you're in the woods with us, too, huh? Yes, you are. Okay, take care, guys.